got this one with Snoop. Hey, that's my name. Yeah, that ass. Real shit. Oh, for like a motherfucker. Bro, had me fried. Yeah, he be having that shit. That's my dream right there. First time I had some bubble hey. gum. Shout out Snoop Dogg, man. Hey. You gonna smoke that shit all day. Shout out Snoop Dogg, but shout out Uncle Mel. That's Uncle Mel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uncle, Uncle Mel, Mel yeah. one of our, uh, me, my uncle, oh, the co host on here. Yeah, Snoop Dogg. But that's his dream, though. Like, yeah. Hey, it's possible. I'm here to tell you for sure. It's possible because I did it. Yeah, facts. How'd that come yeah. about? Um, damn. So my boy, y'all know, Ha Ha Davis. Hey, Shout out, bro. Shout out, shout that's shout my out. brother, you feel me? Facts, he cut. That's, that's my he guy, like, that from the from the beginning, you feel me? So, like, we, um, Snoop started fucking with him and shit. He was, uh, he was, like, telling Ha Ha, like, you feel me? Like, I'm going to uh, either bring you out here when I'm in Cali or when I come to Detroit, I'm going to come fuck with you. And whichever one come first, so you like bet, you know what I'm saying? Then it just so happened that Snoop was DJing the Techno Fest that year, 2015. Shout out to Techno Fest. Hey, you know, Snoop was DJing the Techno Fest. That was like one of his. I think that might have been one of like his first gigs as a DJ. No, like you know, I think he might have been like a year or two in. Might have been his first time DJing in Detroit. Yeah. Well, um. So he had hit Ha Ha up and was like, you know, I'm going to be here Memorial Day and shit. So I'm going uh, I'm to come fuck with you and shit. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, he's like, bet, let me get here. You know, let me know, like, you know what I'm saying, where you staying at and everything. So I come pull up on you and shit. And he was like, no, nah, I told you I'm coming to fuck with you. So wherever you chilling at, I'm pulling up on you. Oh, yeah. So he's like, I'll be at the studio with my niggas. He's like, I'll be at the studio with my niggas. I'm fine. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm coming in. And show as shit, the next morning, I'm, this is when I used to sleep in the studio, like, living that living bitch. Living that bitch. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, yeah, literally, yeah, working. like, no, I'm like, nigga, that was my career. Oh, yeah, so, uh, like, I was living in the studio, and I go to my auntie house, you feel me? Wash my clothes, change clothes, take a shower, all that every day. You feel me? Yeah, like, facts. I was living in the studio on the couch in that bitch. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. And woke up. Motherfuckers, <laughs> like, cleaning shit up. You know what I'm saying? Niggas mm-hmm. shuffling around. Nigga. Niggas like, shit, that nigga, that nigga Snoop supposed to be pulling up in like, in like, like, like an hour or two, nigga. Don't call nobody. Don't tell nobody. Don't, we don't want to flood this bitch with people and shit. Have them running off and all that shit. So I'm like, all right, ooh, I ain't telling nobody, you feel me? I ain't even finna call nobody because I don't want niggas to be like, man, they ain't phone. I don't want to call everybody in, you feel me? <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, all right, I'm like, shit. So I started, you know what I'm saying, trying to clean shit up. I'm trying yeah. to make a little phone to play music for them and shit, you know what yes. I'm saying? And um, about 11, 30, 12 o'clock, ugh. You see this motherfucking <laughs> Sprinter and Escalade come through the back alley. Cause we was we had a studio on Eight Mile. Eight Mile and Redman. Okay. So um we had a motherfucking, you know, there's a dispensary right there. Yep. And the next street you come through the alley and pull back off Redman and shit. So he pulled through the alley and he was thinking that that's where we was at. We like, no, nah, you gotta come around and pull in, you feel me? Like you in the alley, cause they had stopped. You're like, no, you in the alleyway, you feel me? Yeah, so, you know, you know, you, you in Detroit. They pull it out, you pull, pull it out front. You feel me? No, Snoop Pops from Detroit. My yeah, auntie worked with him. He, worked, he was a man, he worked for the post office. My auntie worked with him. Oh, yeah, that's some close shit, for sure, for sure. Well, um, yeah, so, so he pulled up. Deal is. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled up to that bitch. Damn. Like, damn, it's Snoop. And like, I was like, dog, it's Snoop. Like, I was trying to keep my cool though, like I wasn't trying to be like, oh my god, like, like Snoop, you, man, you feel me? Like I didn't want to be like all crazy, like yeah, I'm like I'm icon, icon. Like it's hot, like bro, it's Snoop. This everybody uncle right icon. here. Thanks. We icon, icon. icon. rap icon. It don't icon. matter. Yeah, you icon. Icon. Hey, bro. hey, hey, him and Shaq like top three black people of all time. Thanks, bro. bro. In our generation. And it's not a it's not a human on earth that don't know Snoop. Oh God! It's not a human that don't know Shaq. 
That's truth too. But you just don't smoke, so that's the only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. We man smoked in the white. That's right. Yeah. This man smoked in the white house. I heard about that. I was watching that shit. Uh, this man smoked in the white house. So I hear the matter. He's standing on Eight Mile and Red Man in the red zone with us. That's mm. real shit. You feel me at our studio? Damn. You feel what I'm saying? Well, he don't come that way. Yeah, we don't even think to come that way. We don't think to come that way. Like he pulled straight up, but this is Snoop. Like who gon' who gon' who gon' be on that with him? Everybody, wherever he pull up, that mother's gonna be like, "It's Snoop." Like, who? Oh, they're not even gonna say Snoop. They gonna say, "Oh, that's that's a big Uncle Snoop." Bro. So it's like, damn, like this nigga really here. You hear me? In the flesh. Like he in the flesh in this bitch with a mink on, bro. This nigga, bro, it's Memorial Day, bro. It's May. He's a This nigga had on a full length. Me with like some crispy ass hospital scrubs, bro. <laughs> like it was like a like the fit was like it looked like some hospital scrubs, but not no hospital scrub. Just like some shit. That was some shit. <laughs> it looked like it, I'm sure it probably cost that shit. It was probably some Versace <laughs> scrubs, but she, that yeah, shit was. Yeah. You feel me? Like I'm like, bro, this nigga dressed like he was coming to Detroit in February, like, and he has some L.A. Lakers slippers on. So you know he don't play by LA. He don't play about LA. I said, bro, this nigga came full length mink. This shit was crazy, but he was a smooth, solid, real nigga. You know what I'm saying? He followed yeah. he followed me and the whole gang on Instagram to this day. Damn. That's real. Yeah, most, most, most of them famous most of them famous They uh you know, some niggas won't even ain't even finna look at their phone. Yeah, facts. What up, though? It's your boy, Big Four Peas. You feel me? I'm in this bitch with the Smoke Something Podcast. You know, we smoking something. Album coming soon. Not who I am. You feel me? Make sure y'all be on the lookout for that. Follow me on everything. Big Four Peas. B-I-G-F-O-E-P-E-A-Z. Big Four Peas. You feel me? A.K.A. Buffy Combs. Shout out my nigga, Visionary Mind. We out here. You feel me?